grand day to you. I have to address this. There was never a worldwide flood. Ever. There isn't enough ice or water on this planet to flood over all the land. Ever. So you're saying that Mount Washington was underwater at one time. Do you know how much snow and ice and other stuff we'd have on the ground? Like, I don't think you get it. Think about this scientifically. The ocean isn't just going to rise up and take out things. This is the misconception in the Bible. People don't get it. A flood is something that sweeps across the earth all at once. The only thing that can sweep across this earth and flood around the earth is a virus. That's it. It's the only thing. that can travel over the ocean and still make it to other people. Once it's airborne, that virus can wipe out the world. It's a flood of a virus. But see, people want to put a flood into their words and they see the word flood all the time on the news and in books and other things and they're like, oh, this flood has to be of water. Has to be. But they don't realize it's not water. It's a virus that floods across the earth. So, Noah's Ark was just like a containment unit to house everything so that nothing was touched by this virus. So you guys looking for a boat, you're never going to find it. It's a containment unit. Underground. Not floating in the water. That's why you're never going to find it. Ever. Because you look for water when it was never in water. It was underground to try to keep the virus away from every living animal and person. But the Bible skews so many things because they would rather have their fun with people's hearts rather than tell them the truth. So, you guys all want to know about Noah? Noah's flood was a virus. And he tried to contain himself away from humanity. And everybody laughed at him. That's what Noah is. Floods around the world aren't going to occur. Never ever. just not a possibility. You have read articles, okay? Read articles of somebody's opinion. It's not fact. It's not a boat. It's not in water. It's a flood virus that took out the world. almost did it not too long ago but they modified it and they realized they should have just left it alone because if it took everybody out once it would do it again and it's a flood a viral flood a viral airborne flood if you really look into the scriptures and you really read into all of everything and you read between the lines 
and you truly, truly look into all the wordings of all the scripture and all the stories about Noah, even the hidden stories that are in the Vatican in their archives, you would find that it wasn't a flood of water. It was a viral flood that became airborne and took over this planet. You guys can believe what you want. I don't care. It's the same thing when it comes to the... Oh, what do you call those? The Nephilim. And people were like, the flood killed them. No, it was a virus. Haven't you ever, haven't, haven't anybody ever seen War of the Worlds? What takes out the aliens in the end? A virus that they're not used to because they're not from this planet. That book, that story should be a warning to everybody. But people see it as fiction. Same with the Bible. It's fiction. So then you're taking those fictional stories to heart. But then you're not realizing some of the parts of the story, you're not reading between the lines properly, so then you don't get it. You don't see that it is a virus that flooded this earth and almost decimated the population. way before Christ. It was a story about a man that tried to save every every living thing on this planet, land, animal on this planet, flying animal on this planet, amphibious animal on this planet, tried to save them all in a bunker underground. That's the true story of Noah. People think it was the water, and it wasn't. They were trying to get away from a virus that was decimating the population, and God came to them and said to them, this is what's happening, this is what's going to happen. It's already happening in this side of the planet. You need to do this. So... They started to do this while the virus was still very young. And then the virus became airborne. He was already underground. So, these words are misconstrued because people want to look at it a different way. And that different way has ruined the stories in the Bible. Completely. Never meant to be like that. Have a grand rest of your day.